markers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. Today I'd like to talk about the war on women. You've experienced and heard about the benefits of super male vitality. Now, the new formula has arrived. Introducing the new super female vitality. I have specifically designed this formula to help the body naturally regulate itself without the use of artificial hormones. Key ingredients chosen from the highest quality sources. Each of these ingredients works synergistically with the female body in order to maximize overall vitality. You've heard the reviews and the feedback on how the original super male vitality has revitalized relationships. Now, both the man and the woman can have the revitalization in their own bodies with super male vitality and super female vitality. Secure your super female vitality today from our limited stock at InfoWarsLife.com. We're ready for you. All right, they're ready for me. Let's go. Come, on, come over and get the pretty little red light. Come on. Isn't that pretty? And they'll put a nice little clinic in here in the next few years for urine and blood testing like Clinton wants. What do I have to hide? I'm a criminal. There we have it. Nice little pretty red light. Get that, Mike. There we have it. Your photograph, they capture your signature, they capture your thumbprint, and now Clinton wants urine and blood, and I've given that to the media, the actual federal register that he wants the states to implement. And I guess it tells them how to put clinics in, and it tells them how to urine and blood test law-abiding citizens, not under 18, like the media says. Hi. How you doing? I am here with eight forms of identification. I have my passport. Here is that my name and the form you asked me to fill out. I have no criminal record. My name is Alexander Emmerich Jones. Here is my passport. Here is my insurance. Here is another form of ID. Here is my old driver's license. Here is my birth certificate. And here is my W-2 form. And uh, here is two more insurance cards, old ones, just so you can double check. It sends a health club card. You've got plenty of ID. Okay. Good to go. We're going to get you to do right now. I need for you to answer these first three questions. Take a look at these questions there and go over them things. So I don't have to thumb scan. Well, we're going to get to that. You are eventually going to have to. Yes, sir. But not now. Not at this point, but you will before we're done with the process. Why? Because it's required. It's required by Bill Clinton in 1992 and it was instituted here in Texas in 1993. I know the code, sir. Are you going to institute his urine and blood testing when he commands you? Are you going to stick a needle in my arm when I have no criminal record? The only, answers I'm, only questions I'm going to answer right now are concerning driver's license issuance. You just follow orders, don't you? So you're saying you're going to deny me the constitutional right to travel if I do not submit to this digital thumb scanning? What I will tell you, today you will not receive a duplicate driver's license if you do not submit to a thumbprint. Okay, look, I feel like I'm being raped here. Well, I would sit down with you for hours and try to do what I could to help you. Then just give me my license without digitally cannot, thumb scanning. I am not going to violate DPS policy. Is there a religious exception? For your exception. Is there a religious exception? No. No, sir, there's not. Everyone must take the mark. A digitally enhanced mark. I'm not talking about mark. A digital tattoo. I know. Your, your ID, you are good to go. But yeah, well, if I'm good to go, why do you need my thumbprint? Because it's part of the procedure of issuing part of Bill. It's part of Bill Clinton's law, isn't it? It's, it's an executive order. It's a decree by Bill Clinton. NCIC. NCIC. Yeah, and if I drive without a license, what's, what's the penalties for driving without a license? You know, I don't even want to go there. That's right. You know why? I'm asking it you. Doesn't pertain to it. You're an officer. I'm asking you the law. I would be glad to sit down. So with you're saying I'll be committing a crime by driving if I don't take your mark. 
I would be glad to do anything I can yeah. to help you, sir. Well, see, you're saying, I'm not against you, and I understand. Officer you're Ard, you're you're sitting here, Sergeant, and telling me that you're all friendly and you're all nice. But I'll be pulled over and given tickets. If I don't pay those, I will go to jail because I, because of my morals and, and my beliefs, I will not take this. And I'm here to tell you, I already took this in 93, and many people will say, well, well you've already taken it. What's your problem with it? Because now I've figured out what this is, and I'm opposing all those others that are being herded in here like cattle to be thumb scanned like criminals. Mr. Jones? Yes. We don't even need to start there. If I know that you're not going to submit to a thumbprint, why waste your time? See, right up front. They will drop, and people are being turned away all day here. So you're saying I pay my taxes, I'm raped by the IRS, which is criminal. You know, it's it's well known. And you heard the key word submit. Submit. He just said I must submit. I'm telling you, I've never been to jail. I don't know. What do you want me to do for you? I want you to give me my driver's license. I want my driver's license. I am not a criminal. I may become one today, but that's fine. You're saying you're saying you won't take me to jail at five if I'm still here. No, we're not going to take you to jail. Oh yeah. This is against the grain of the Constitution. Look, if I don't take the mark, my right to travel is taken. You're taking my rights and telling me that it's no big deal? And now you want a urine and blood test. Bring me the, the, uh, the, the uh, document. Who has the urine and blood testing document? I need it. I'm going to pass these out to people. Ladies and gentlemen, the Federal Register, Bill Clinton, urine and blood testing plan for you. Tell your friends about it. We have got to stand against this. The states are preparing to implement this plan. This is not a joke. This is not the entire document. It gets worse. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's a joke to them. Only Coach Penders matters. Only diversions like Rome, the gladiators. If I don't take this, if I don't take this, will I not be penalized for not having a driver's license, by not being able to cash a check, by being given tickets that if I don't pay those tickets, I'll be taken to jail. I can't travel out of state. I can't get on board an airplane. And the media is talking about thumb scanning to travel. You're working with the foreign banks and the military industrial complex. This is all their idea. Read the military war college from 1968. They planned this. And just because you lay around doesn't mean it's not true. This is not a publicity stunt. I was a lot happier years ago before I got into all this garbage. I'm sick of sheep laying down. I wish you'd get up and do something. Makes me want to vomit. Our forefathers went to World War II and World War I and fought in the Civil War to end slavery, and it means nothing to y'all. We're a bunch of yellow belly weaklings. I am sick of it. I'm sick of people laying down like a bunch of jellyfish and rationalizing what's going on. People ought to be ashamed of themselves. My brother's a cop. gold star in the arm and be quiet. Yes. Exactly. Now look very carefully at Mike Cox. He is head public information officer for all of Texas for the DPS. They weren't going to arrest me, but about 15 minutes into the protest, he showed up and things changed dramatically. He walked up, stared at me, turned, walked back to the back. They had a little meeting together, and then they came and arrested me. If yeah, you do right. Not leave now, I will be forced oh, to arrest you. Sir, I'm here to get a driver's license. I have never had a criminal okay. record. It, it's go. time to go. Here I go. Get my stuff for me. The DPS was very professional, but they did the classic bait and switch. They got all the troopers on one side of the building and made us think that I was coming out there. I hope we've painted you a picture of what's really happening here in the nation. 
I got out of jail that night with a Class C misdemeanor, and I'm taking it to court, and I'm sure I'll defeat it with a jury trial. It was a small price to pay, though, to bring light upon the biometric technologies. Well, that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. And now you can protect yourself from corrupt cops with the InfoWars dash cam. It's your car's black box that records all that the driver sees and hears. And introducing the Block It Pocket. It renders your phone undetectable while protecting your private data and your health. Or take back your privacy and protect your personal information by getting your very own detractor cell phone pouch. So get incredibly high quality freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.